Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and in this video I'll be going over the various vehicle discounts that are now active in GTA Online as of Thursday the 9th of July 2020. All of these are going to be available for one week until Thursday the 16th of July. The podium vehicle this week is the Wagner which can be won by spinning the lucky wheel in the casino. It's in the supers class and normally sets you back just over 1.5 million dollars. When you're looking at buying a supercar to race, the Wagner is easily the best budget option and the cheapest way to get an S tier car but it is now slightly off the pace of the Emirates and Krieger. Still a competitive option and a very quick car in its own right though. The premium race this week is Cutting Coroners, which is an old style lap race in the city for the Supers class. Stick with the Emirates or Krieger for this one for the best winning chance, or for a bit of a challenge, an A or B tier car. Anything in tier C or below will be significantly difficult. Also, the regular time trial this week is Elysian Island, with the RC time trial being Construction Site 2. In terms of regular vehicle discounts, you'll get 30% off the Osiris and T20, two classic supercars that are still quick but only in the B tier for the supers class for racing these days, in addition to 30% off the Scramjet and Rocket Voltic. The discount gets slightly better with 40% off the Hunter, Bombushka, Starling and Rogue, but the best discount comes from the Ultralight, which is completely free this week. What you do with it, I don't know, but there it is. You can of course find out the lap times, top speeds and tiers of all the vehicles that I've mentioned here by checking out the playlist and video links in the description and pinned comment. In terms of discounts specifically for Twitch Prime members who've linked their Rockstar Social Club accounts, you'll get a whopping 85% off both the APC and Immorgon, taking both of them to just over $300,000 from well over $2 million. Not much to say on the APC, but the Immorgon is a really interesting car that's in the A tier for the sports class, but can easily beat even the S tier Itali GTO or Pariah, given the right track with its insane acceleration. Given the wrong track, it could easily lose to a Banshee though, since its top speed is so bad. But just remember to put the turbo upgrade on the car using the method I detailed in a previous video to be sure that you get the best out of it. I'd also like to thank Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Their flagship product, the Ridge Wallet, was launched on Kickstarter in 2013 and is a great way to get rid of your old, big, bulky wallet. With titanium, carbon fibre and aluminium options in a number of designs, alongside a lifetime warranty if you love it, free returns if you don't, and free worldwide shipping, it's certainly worth checking out. Use the link in the description to head to ridge.com slash bruffy and use code bruffy to get 10% off. Other miscellaneous bonuses this week include triple money on the stockpile adversary mode, plus double money on air freight cargo. There's also 50% off hangers and garages. I'll be back with another video just like this next Thursday the 16th of July where there won't be any new vehicle unless there's a new DLC and we'll go through everything that's changed. Feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Thanks a lot for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.